Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Automation Hub Sathak and in this video I will continue with the TestNG playlist uh, and the video will be about how to retry or rerun failed tests in TestNG. This is quite a famous interview question and sometimes they make it sound like it is uh, something complicated. It is not. You need not remember any code as such. Earlier we used to just, I, I'll, I'll tell you each and everything. Let's go ahead and uh, understand why we are doing this in the first place. Uh, let's say for example, I have just uh, I have written a very small test case. It's a typical test case. This is a URL that you'll enter, and you'll enter the username and password and click on the sign in button and just go ahead and open this URL for you guys. It's a typical URL which I use quite often, and then you have to enter username and password and click on sign in button. A as simple as that. There's no big deal in it. Now, if I go ahead and execute this, this will work absolutely fine. So just have some patience. So this thing will work absolutely fine. So it will enter the username, it will enter the password and clicked on sign in button. That's it. Now, the thing is, if you go ahead and see the output, uh, test run is one, pass is one, no problem, all good. If I refresh the project and I expand the output folder, test output folder, you will see the test is testng minus results.xml file it will say that this particular launch driver method has successfully executed okay now the thing is this particular thing has no failure as per the uh, suggestion of the video title this particular thing has no failure so let's say for example i fail this just to show you guys I'm failing this. How failed tests are run? I'm deliberately failing this. Okay. I save it. Now I fail this using an assertion. If I run this program right now, let's have some patience. Even though it will execute, but at the end, the output will show one failure because of the assertion failure which we have deliberately introduced now you see the output it says one failure because of how we have done it okay now the thing is if i refresh the particular project and now if i go to test output you will see testng minus fail.xml file just click on it you will see which particular method has failed and this method has failed methods which include this one has failed see launch driver has failed now you are not sure now the question is we have deliberately failed here we have failed it by introducing an assertion so this is something what is it's a deliberate failure but let's say for example i'll give you a scenario why this question is important why this topic is important let's say for example okay let me draw it for you guys so let's say for example you are a tester who is testing on a particular module and you are using automation scripts for the same and typically your automation scripts run uh, there are huge number of scripts here i have just one test case just for example sake but let's say you are running 500 test cases you are running 500 test cases and you run exactly at 9 pm in the night okay the next morning when you come to office uh, approximately uh, around at uh, you check around 8 30 am or 9 am whatever you analyze what are the test cases that have failed and why have they failed whatever reasons many times it happens that because of certain issues not because of code problem or certain or our functional uh, functional uh, knowledge of our qa application problem no there could be other reasons why test cases fail sometimes the reasons why test cases would fail is because uh, let's say there's a server issue okay uh, let's say the qa or the uat build in which you were uh, 
uh, about to run your test cases for that 9 pm or 10 pm whatever schedule time some the build is still not complete build is still not complete and you run your test cases and you run your test suite in via jenkins you run your test suite so that happens that it will automatically run or you forgot to disable it or pause it for that particular time or you or your uh, uh, development lead said that i will give you a i will message you or whatsapp you at this point of time then you can start running this but you forgot for some whatever reasons so somehow maybe because of your you know uh, absent mindedness or whatever got busy in something or maybe because of a server issue maybe the application is slow maybe the internet internet fluctuation is there because you know selenium works very fast so certain sort of fluctuation happens and certain thing could not get buffered so a certain thing could not get loaded the page load could not happen so the set page load strategy literally failed because somehow you have made selenium to work very fast anything could happen so for these particular reasons maybe you are not something goes wrong it's not about your functional knowledge or it's about your functional uh, coding in your uh, program something else so out of these reasons it could fail so to handle such kind of a situation you need to know this now how do we do this without remembering anything earlier if i remember people used to ask this question in interview how will you rerun failed test cases and then there was a lot of debate happening between a lot of people that why do you want to run uh, failed test cases don't you think that if you if your test cases have failed that means you should not run them rather you should raise a defect on them exactly everything is everything every concern is important every uh, every idea is important but at the end of the day even when you raise a defect like a lot of pundits say that even if you raise a defect obviously you'll analyze what happened and then only you raise a defect it is not always very common to determine that okay fine if the test cases are failing uh, even if all these issues are failing i have to raise a defect sometimes in a project you have to be in sync with the development team even though you you're supposed to raise a defect maybe you are not supposed to raise a defect you have to politically also you know align yourself to the team otherwise there will be a lot of you know unnecessary rift so there are at a certain point of time you have to be politically correct you just cannot be adamant in in certain places many people ignore that they believe that okay if my test cases have failed for no uh, failure of uh, my uh, no understanding or my functional knowledge then i should raise a defect so rerunning of test cases is not a good practice of course it is not a very good practice but sometimes you need to understand uh, practice good or bad is, uh, is, is 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 subjective the objective should be to make sure that everyone uh, gets the job done so anyways so let's understand how this thing exactly works so let's say this particular test case has failed i want i am as a tester i'm not sure whether uh, i will be able to make i will i will be able to judge once i go back home because at 9 pm my uh, uh, script is running whether this will pass or no or whatever because i am not sure out of this which issue will come into picture my functional code is absolutely correct so to you know handle this very simple you go to testng.org go to documentation okay my internet is my internet is not great okay sorry in documentation you will see something known as mm, where did it go yeah rerunning failed tests 5.12 just click on this you will see that there is a class which is implementing something so this something is nothing but an interface because a class can in implement an interface so in interview before people used to ask how will you rerun test cases then they will say that you have to create a class which will implement a particular uh, interface known as i retry analyzer and then you have to you know uh, declare the amount of times you want to rerun that and then you have to you know make a small method and also 
the class in which the uh, test cases are you have to give this particular annotation annotation return analyzer and you will have to equate it uh, the parameter you have to pass is you have to equate it to the name of the class followed by the dot class extension so all these things we use to answer in the interview now nobody gives any damn to it so literally what you can do is you can create a class whatever it is here you can copy paste the whole code just uh, copy this class class name go here go to your project and wherever you want or else if you want you can create a new package and package you can say testng underscore re retry or rerun whatever you can rename that package and here inside this package you can make the class you can give the class name as my retry finish it and then literally you copy the whole thing just copy control c and paste it here and you remove this override and that's it so now your class is ready now you are in this particular class which you have created you are implementing an iretry analyzer interface if you want to know more about it go and check javadoc you will know more about it now the next part you have to do is the class in which the test case is there you have to just declare this particular annotation copy this because the name of the class is my retry which you have given so just copy this go to this particular uh, cl class wherein you have the code go to that particular test case just paste this thing see here my retry is this will be this is in a different class so i have created this in a different package so since i have created this in a different package so what i'll do is i'll move this particular class to the same package itself so once i move that class to the same package then you know this thing will work now the error will go so it, it is it is much better if you keep it in at one place or if you want to do as per your wish uh, i i would do like this i would keep a separate package wherein i rerun my test cases and all the test cases uh, will have that adherence to that class which and then i can use this retry analyzer and get it done as simple as that now right click run as test ng test and before i execute see i have given the retry count as 3 sorry the video just started okay my internet is slow so sometimes it behaves ordinarily but not to worry we will get to know when the output is there see the max retry count equals to 3 that means 3 times this thing will get a retry so one time the execution with the original execution original time and then three times if if the test case fails three times it will execute so total there will be four attempts done by the selenium suite so because my internet is not doing great and uh, sometimes the website with this particular thing is uh, is horribly slow see okay something is not right so i'll i'll stop this i'll retry again so let's let's not make it three i'll make it two unnecessary time consumption i'll run it as test ng test let's I, I hope this time it works faster okay the first attempt okay somehow this website is slow i can't help it so the, this is an application slow or, or this server is slow somehow see it's not responding sometimes it responds very fast so exactly my point what i'm trying to refer there are certain things which cannot be in your control as a qa or as an automation qa just the the server might be slow or the application might be slow for some reason so in those situations you cannot raise a defect like this yes you can raise a defect to a certain extent but unless and until you analyze this how will you get to know exactly what i'm trying to show in the video this website is is acting slow the username and password even though they are correct and the code is correct the logic is correct see it is not even entering username and password it, it is entering at such a slow pace 
for whatever reasons it is slow so sometimes as of now this is a very stable uh, application rediff so we, which we have been using for years but all of a sudden your queue environment or your uat environment might go here and there in those situations you need to understand that you might have to rerun your failed test cases so this is the second second retry so this one is the first original one this one was the second one and this one is the third that means the second retry so let's wait for this one to get over see the delay in this so sometimes this is beyond your control as of now it is working it is somehow getting executed but in certain situations in your qa or uat environment in your particular project it might literally fail and throw an error so typically sometimes the server act up acts up fast in the second or third uh, iteration the speed might come back the internet might behave properly so maybe it will pass the test case you never know hence it is important that you rerun your failed test cases so this is the way this is a very simple phenomenon you'll see test run is one failure is one retry is two that's how it is see retried it says retried it says retried first anyways the original one anyways failed and these are the retry attempts so it's very simple you don't have to do much you just have to go and copy that code from testng.org just create a class file just create a class file uh, whatever just copy the code keep the same name and then retry count depends how, how many you want how many times you want this to three four five ten up to you but you cannot give ten otherwise you will never be able to finish two or three is much more than enough and then you have to just pass this annotation in the test cases which are actually executing uh, in the test cases which you want to rerun and it is just one one test case you can do this for multiple test cases as well i have just written one test case you can do this for multiple test cases you can do this for um, in in multiple different in different classes so i have written rediff uh, rediff soft assert as my class name wherein i am doing all this you create another class and write lot of test cases and you uh, uh, do a parallel run or uh, do a batch run and then apply this it will still work it is up to you i hope you enjoyed this small session on how to retry rerun fail test in testng the earlier thing when in people used to ask in interview how will you rerun we used to answer i remember we used to answer uh, we need to implement an interface this and we have to give a retry count as uh, as a variable and then we have to pass the annotation of retry analyzer in that particular class with, and equate it with an extension of dot class that is what we used to answer like 5 6 7 years before but now it is a very simple phenomenon nobody even asks in interview even if does it's very simple you just have to do this much thank you so much uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much sarthik signing off